and I do oh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a tiny little drugstore haul. I hit up CVS on my way home from work and I picked up a couple of things. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so not everything in here is going to be makeup. I did pick up a couple of, um, like I got a face wash and I got some skincare stuff, so it's not all gonna be makeup. Also, excuse my hair and my face. I just worked a, like an 11 hour day and thankfully it's still like a little light outside, so I've got some daylight to work with. I do have my new lights up, so I'm hoping it's making this look a little bit better. But let's just jump right into the makeup. Okay, so I did pick up two foundations. One is brand new and one is a repurchase and a new shade. I know I said I wasn't gonna repurchase this, but I've really been missing it and my other one is too dark. So I picked up the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. This is the shade 710. So this is a closer match to me currently. I do have this in 725, which is my perfect like summer match and I haven't really been able to find anything to mix it with that lightens it enough that I like and that lasts throughout the day so I just went ahead and picked up a lighter shade. Something newer that I'm really excited to try out because it's been getting rave reviews online is the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. I picked up the shades 202 and 204. Now my CVS didn't have 203 but I think that might have actually been like my closest shade. So I picked these two up. I'm gonna go ahead and mix them. I'm not sure how much the shade that like, corresponds to the shades in the pro matte because in the pro matte I have like 201 and 202 I think and I mix those together so I am really excited to try this out and I'm hoping that by mixing these two I get a shade that's close to me. Speaking of matching shades I also picked up a white mixer because I do have a couple of dark foundations right now. This one is from LA Girl and is the pro coverage HD technically it's a foundation but it's in the color white. I don't have a whole lot of experience with um like foundation lighteners because I've up until this point I've only ever mixed two shades of foundation together I've never actually bought a product just for lightening so I am going to try this out with a couple of my darker foundations just to see how it works so I also picked up a um version of the duo lash adhesive it is the brush on kind i could have sworn that i bought one of these like a while ago but i can't find it anywhere and all i could find was whoops and all i could find was the, the the squeezy tube kind and that one i've tried using it a couple of times especially in the morning when i'm getting ready for work i just make a mess an absolute mess so i really needed like the, the the, the draw on kind to make it a little bit easier for me in the morning so I picked up one of these. Next I did pick up two kind of um, skincare related items. This one is a new face wash for me. I currently have a different brand that I've been really liking so I picked up this one which is a little bit similar. I got the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I've heard amazing things about this especially for dry skin in the winter. I'm currently using the one from a similar brand. I I want to say it's the Cetaphil. I'm using the Cetaphil daily like hydrating wash and it's been doing wonders for my skin along with my new serum regimen. So I did move from the Cetaphil to this one just because I've heard more reviews about this one and I'm excited to try it out. But I saw, which I was really surprised to see, that Cetaphil actually has like makeup remover wipes. I use these multiple times a day every day getting ready taking off swatches fixing makeup i go through these like water so i was really excited to see that cetaphil came out with one that's supposed to be gentle and for sensitive skin i don't have like super sensitive skin but with how often i use um like facial makeup wipes and now that my skin is a little bit dry a little bit more flaky during the winter i am looking for something a little bit more gentle so i was really excited to find these in cvs Hey, I don't know if this one technically it's like skincare, it's lip care. I picked up the Milani Keep It Sweet Sugar Lip Scrub. This is something that's also gotten rave reviews online that I've been really excited to try out. I currently use the the e.l.f. like lip exfoliator that comes in like the um like the lipstick bullet. And I think it's okay. Um, it's not one of my favorite things, but it gets the job done and it exfoliates and takes off the dead skin. I've heard that this one, it's supposed to taste and like smell amazing and it just exfoliates and leaves your skin or leaves the, well, 
and leaves your lips feeling uh, moisturized and not dry. And the e.l.f. one does exfoliate, but my lips feel super dry afterwards. So I am really excited to try out the one from Milani. So next I picked up a product that I'm not sure is going to work for me, but I've seen and heard so much about it. I wanted to go ahead and try it out and it is the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder in Cool. Now I don't have cool undertones. But I don't believe they make a warm version of this. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know down below because I've been looking and searching and I cannot find a warm version of this powder. But I am looking for something more to like set the under eye area and highlight. So I think if anything, this would make a nice highlight. So I'm excited to try it out. All right, another thing from um, LA Girl, I picked up their Pro Conceal Concealer. This is actually one of the like color correctors in the light peach. Now I am a huge fan of the Benefit like Boing, which used to be a race paste concealer, and that is a very light salmony kind of concealer for under my eyes. I do have really like deep under eye bags so I do use a color corrector fairly often and I was excited to find this one and I'm excited to try out like a drugstore version because I don't believe I've ever tried like a peachy salmony drugstore corrector before. Next up I got one of the L'Oreal Infallible Paints liners and I got it in white. Now I've been on the hunt for a nice white eyeliner for quite some time. I picked up the one from um, Kat Von D and honestly I wasn't a fan. It wasn't pigmented enough. It didn't go on over eyeshadow that well, which really surprised me because I did like her tattoo ink liner in black. So I have seen a couple of these in the drugstore. This is just the first one that I've decided to pick up and try out. So I really am hoping that it's pigmented, that it goes on well over eyeliner because I've been really excited to try out like the white eyeliner look. Next, I picked up a new mascara. I was actually looking for the Lash Paradise, but my local CVS didn't have it, so I just wanted to pick up a mascara to try out. And I got one from CoverGirl. This is, I'm not sure how new this is, because my CVS says it's new, but it's been like, my CVS is really slow about bringing out new stuff, but that's another conversation. This is the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara in Intense Black. Now, I think they had like regular black and brown, but I always go for like the black because of the black mascara. They had like a little demo of the wand out there, and it does look like a nice wand. The bristles are very separated, and I think it would do well for people that do have a lot of lashes and don't want them to clump up too easily. All right, and to finish up, I do have two lip products. One is a lip gloss, and then one is a liquid lipstick. I picked up the gloss from MUA in the shade Nude. I've had this on like my list of things to buy for quite some time but I haven't been able to find like the nude colored lipstick. Lipstick, it's a gloss. But I haven't been able to find the nude color gloss whenever I headed into my CVS so I was really excited to find this and pick it up. I forgot who was raving about it. It might have been the Taylor a long time ago. Like a while back talking about the MUA lip gloss um, but it does look like a nice light pink shade I just really want it to top off some liquid lipsticks so that I can wear them throughout the day at work so I am excited to try this one out and last but not least I picked up one of the L'Oreal infallible pro matte liquid lipsticks and I got the shade does it say yes I got the shade 370 rose blood and this is just a beautiful deep deep red let me see if i can swatch it oh Oof. oh my god it's a beautiful deep burgundy red almost ox blood and God, that looks beautiful. I'm really excited to try that one out. I have not tried out any of the Pro Matte formula from L'Oreal, so I am excited to give this a go because the shade is beautiful. Okay, and that was everything for my mini haul today. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to catch any more of my hauls or other videos. And I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!